lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles Hi, used to hold and welcome me down. to Handmade by Dixie Tulip. And now I'm Mal, my and thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share Just with like you the completed duvet cover dress. Um, so hopefully you've seen the previous video where um, I shared with you that I'd um, purchased this beautiful duvet set from HomeSense um, with the idea to um, turn it into a dress for sewing floral February. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. Um, it's absolutely beautiful dress. Um, so I just wanted to share the details with you. Um, I absolutely adore the fabric. So it's like it's got uh, really huge um, flowers that look like they've been painted on. And it's got really nice shades of orange and pink and purple and then the greens um, that mix with it as well. The pattern that I used is the bodice from the Sew Over It Betty dress, because um, I love the deep V neck. Oh, just check, you can see. Love the deep V neck that um, the Betty has. Um, sorry, the, the V back that the Betty has. Um, and I also find the fit quite um, good. Um, but I didn't have enough fabric for the circle skirt. Um, so what I've done instead is added um, a standard gathered rectangle skirt on there um, instead. Um, now, when I shared this over on Instagram, a few people did ask what uh, measurements I used um, for the converting it into the rectangle skirt. So what I will do, um, I just used the um, Tilly and the Buttons book. Um, is it the Delphine? There's a skirt in there that um, is in Tilly and the Buttons and she teaches you how to draft your own gathered skirt um, pattern. Um, so I just kind of used the guidelines that were in there um, as an estimate. So what I'll do is I'll type them up in the video notes so you've got them there to refer to. And then something else that I also did, the last couple of times I've made the Betty dress, um, although it fits really well, I found that the back was gaping there was too much fabric at the back and it was gaping a little bit so what i'd had to do on my previous dresses is sew in little darts to fix that but what i've done uh, this time is adjusted the pattern um, so that i've not had to add the darts and it fits perfectly at the back now i have already shared a tutorial on how i changed the pattern in order to make that adjustment um, so again i'll leave a link to that video in the um, notes just one thing to be mindful of um, the way that i altered the pattern i did explain i'm not an expert i've just kind of gone with what i think and and, and it worked um, but i kind of slashed through the center of the dart and um, the lovely penguin and pear uh, commented to say that the way that she was taught was to slash through one of the legs of the dart. Um, I'm not sure if it makes any difference. As I say, I slashed through the centre and it fits perfectly, um, but just be mindful of that if you want to have a go at doing it yourself. So, um, what I'm going to do is just show you some of the details. One of the things that I did do with this dress, I'll come in closer to show you, is I've added a lace insert collar. So this is, oh, which way am I going? This is a collar that I've had in my stash for quite some time um, and it's really pretty. It makes it look quite vintage and I like as well that it hangs over into the back so you can see um, you've got the back detail there as well. And it was really easy to add this. I just stitched it in place on the front bodice within the seam allowance. Um, before adding the lining um, and then I just added a couple of tacking stitches here and there to hold it in place so I think that gives it a really nice effect. To line the dress I have lined the bodice but I've left the skirt unlined um, and I just used the back of the duvet cover um, so it's got a slight kind of grey speckled stripe um, to it 
and that has worked out really well so it's given it a nice clean finish on the bodice but I've left the skirt unlined. One thing that I was a little bit concerned about was pattern matching um, because the fabric has obviously got really bold prints and I didn't have enough to fabric match I was a bit worried about how it would turn out at the back but actually um, I don't think it's worked out too bad at all so it doesn't match but I don't think it's too noticeable because of how bold the prints are um, so it certainly won't stop me from wearing this dress anyway. And then the only other thing to um, share is I've added some belt loops so you can see there I've added some belt loops um, on the dress two at the side two at the back so that I can wear it with a belt as well. And that's about it. There's not really a lot else to share with you other than I absolutely love it and can't wait to wear it. So any questions at all, do leave them in the comments below. And if you've taken part in Sewing Floral February, um, feel free to add any links to your Instagram posts or blog posts or anything like that. Um, and I hope that it's... Um, perhaps giving you a bit of inspiration to not only look in the fabric shops but have a look at um, some of those gorgeous duvet sets that are out there as well because I think this may well be one of my favourite dresses. So that's it, that's all I wanted to share. Have a wonderful week whatever you're up to and I will see you very soon. Bye! Starshine lights my way to bed Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland all my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down